Hi everyone! So to start off this makeup transformation, I'm going to be using this Dr. Feel Good Primer from Benefit and just spreading it all over my face. Next, I'm taking this Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna and isn't it just so beautiful? But anyways, I'm using the shade 240 if you're interested and just putting it all over my face and then blending it in with a damp sponge. This foundation has really, really good coverage. So if you're looking for a medium to heavy coverage foundation, this one's really good. After that, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just applying it on my under eyes and on the blemishes that I may have. Also applying it on my nose bridge and my chin to highlight as well and I'm just going to blend it in with that same damp sponge and warging at the same time Game of Thrones reference right there and then that's me accidentally spreading the concealer for my blemishes but anyways after that I'm going to be taking my Coty Airspun loose face powder and I'm not really baking because I didn't really leave it on for too long I immediately brushed it all off because to be honest I didn't really have the time to bake and after that I'm proceeding to my eyebrows so first brushing them into place and taking my Mary Kay eyebrow pencil and just lightly using my hand to fill in the gap since this eyebrow pencil has a really dark shade and I don't want to overdo it. So again, I'm just filling it all in and brushing them again to distribute the product evenly and then setting them in place with some eyebrow mascara from Ever Belena. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking my Naked 3 palette and I'm using this shade, I think it's called Limit. I'm not sure but anyways I'm just putting it all over my lids to act as a base and next I'm taking this gorgeous red eyeshadow from Swish or Swish I, I don't know how it's pronounced but anyways I'm focusing it first on my crease and on the outer V because that's where I want the most pigment to show and then I'm just gonna work my way inwards I'm taking the shade called Nooner and applying it on the crease to add more depth to the eye makeup. I'm using that same shade and just using a smaller brush to put some more on the outer V. And again, taking the red eyeshadow and putting it on the rest of my lids. Okay, back to the makeup look. So I'm just using the shades Nooner and the red eyeshadow on my lower lash line and then blending the eyeshadow with a clean blending brush. Next, I'm taking the shade called Dust and just applying it on the middle parts of my lids. For some liquid liner, I'm using this Bobbi I Love It Felt Tip Liquid Liner. And this is a really good eyeliner. For a price that is so inexpensive, I'm actually surprised that it works really well. But anyways, I'm just doing a cat eye. I'm not really the best at it, but hey, I try. And then I'm just tight lining my waterline with some black eyeliner. Next, I'm going to be putting on some fake lashes off cam. And oh my god, can we just appreciate how beautiful these lashes are? Oh, they're so gorgeous. After that, we're back to the face and I'm using my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche and just contouring as per usual. For the blush, I'm taking my Ever Belena Pink Blush and I think I really need to buy more blushes but anyways, I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm taking my highlighter from Sleek and look how excited I am. And I'm just going to mix those two shades and put on the high points of my face. For the lips, I originally planned on using this red lipstick from Ever Belena, but I found it a little bit too orangey for my liking, so I switched it up to some Happy Skin Shut Up and Kiss Me Lippy in the shade All Heart, and we're done with the makeup look. Well, actually, the final step is putting on some makeup spray. I forgot what this one is called. I'll just put it in the description box. 
Anyways, that is it for this makeup transformation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week for my Halloween video. Bye! If I was you, I'd wanna be me too. I'd wanna be me.